So in today's video guys we're showing you how to go Super Saiyan against Vegeta here obviously in uh, the story mode right? Now it is a bit hard to sort of do I would say depending on the difficulty you do. So basically how you got to do it is when you're doing like you're starting off in the story mode you got to start off with uh, selecting Piccolo right? So it makes you got Piccolo selected when you go to fight Raditz and all that because that's sort of the path you got to take right? Because it is a what if story so there's two splits to it. You can do it alone, but doing it alone, you won't be able to get the path with Super Saiyan, right? So, once you go with Piccolo, then you go down to the next part, which is... I think it's like, what, fighting uh, Nappa, and then you fight Vegeta and that as well. So, the part where you get up to is this part here, right? So, you gotta fight, obviously, um, Vegeta when he goes Great Ape, and you gotta get him down to, like, a certain health requirement. I'm not really too sure what it is. I guess it all depends on difficulty as well. Right, but then once you reach that, you will get like a, a mini cutscene, so the battle will just stop. And then the cutscene will appear, which I'll put up now. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, the cutscene itself is probably one of the best I've seen so far in Sparking Zero. Yet again, I am doing a playthrough series, which I will probably do another one maybe tomorrow. I think I'll get another one put up. Because I was debating on doing it in segments, but I think it's going to be better if I just do... All Goku once and then go to the next character. So I think so. I think probably the next playthrough episode would be attacking on Freezer, right? So that would be interesting. But yeah, this cutscene is really well done. Um, I will also show the fight as well. Because the fight's obviously very good. The animations look pretty clean, like everything it does <laughs> in Sparking Zero. But yeah, it is a little bit harder to do, like doing this sort of part. Because as we all know, Gradit Vegeta himself is really annoying to fight, right? So I have got a video up showing how to do it alone, just to sort of get a sort of wrap around how you can sort of do it. But basically how I would recommend to take him on is, it probably seems a bit cowardish, I guess you can say. But try to get as far back as you can, can charge up, keep using Kamehameha, right? And then if you can, get like your burst mode activated and then use like your super Kamehameha, which will obviously get more damage done as well. But if you are struggling, you can put it on uh, the lower difficulty, which I think probably would be better. Because to me, doing the Super Saiyan, like doing the Super Saiyan route here, it's actually easier to do it on the weaker one because Vegeta has more health. Well, I think he does have a little bit more health. Because, he, like I said, he does transform to Great Vegeta mid fight, which is probably the most annoying part. But once you get past that, he's actually not too bad to take on. But, yeah, like. <laughs> I mean, I do like these what if stories. I have seen some other ones as well, which I would pro I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, right? I'm thinking for the playthroughs, I think I'll just do how I've, like, however I feel like I should do it at the time. And then if I have missed out on the what if story, I think I'll do like this sort of segment here again. Because if you've been following me how I do it sort of thing, sort of like a tutorial, I guess it's good as well I can show the what if side. Because even if you do just like the first route you went down you can always go back and do the what if story with like which i think is pretty huge to do plus obviously you get xp and that as well doing it this way but yeah it's really good you can just stop and decide yeah i'm gonna actually do the what if story now but i'm pretty sure it doesn't matter if you you know stop it after a certain time like if you don't go too far in the story and go back like it doesn't matter which I think is the main thing, right? Because it would have sucked if, like, you can't do the what if story after all over again. But it's good they've done that, right? And you can do this stage as many times as you want, so... You can, I think you can even recap just the, the cutscenes, right? But obviously playing it's a little bit better to experience, but it's good that they've sort of added that in. But yeah, that's pretty much it, how you get uh, Super Saiyan Goku, right? Um, if you guys need any more help or anything like that, just uh, leave a comment down below, and I'll do, like, do my best to help it as usual, sort of guide you in the right direction. And uh, yeah, if you guys like this video and you want to see more, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you as I win the next one.